officers and members of this great tabernacle, family and friends, I bid you good morning. Good morning. I bring condolences on behalf of the President, officers and members of the Bahamas, Utilities, Services, and Allied Workers Union, better known as the Busubu. When I was asked to speak, I did not have a problem grasping for words to say about Lyndon Alf Johnson. This is simply because his life was dedicated to the work of the Water and Sewage Corporation and the Union, as well as he himself was a man never short for words. Alf worked in an integral, integral section of the Water and Sewage Corporation, the construction department. And the word integral reminds me of being a part of a whole. Yes. Alf operated the tobacco machine digging holes into the ground for the Water and Sewage Corporation to lay its pipes, eventually becoming a whole distribution system. Pipe by pipe, hole by hole, it became water and sewage's whole distribution system, which we all benefit from. That's right. Mr. Johnson, I would call him affectionately, performed his duties with stellar performance at the corporation. But you know, I ain't gonna debate on that because his boss already tell you that. Be it that it may, to speak in retrospect from the union's perspective, Mr. Lyndon Alf Johnson was considered to be a trailblazer and a patriot. He served all four presidents that the Union had. And it was like he would never allow a fly to light on any one of us. Or else, and I don't have to say to you anything more on that matter. You see, my fellow brothers and sisters, Alf brought a sense of comfort and security right. to the seat of the presidency. All right, all right, all right. Alf is among a selected few worthy of being called a stalwart counselor of this Usawu Union. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I remember times Alf was called upon by the Union to do what it takes. He did what it took, and without hesitation. And I can speak about this now, because Alf is going on the glory. Yes, he did what he had to do. I can recall an incident where someone parked the barco machine, and it ain't him. Blocking the main entrance to Water and Sewage Corporation main building during an industrial action. And the police officers attempted to move it. Alf, laying his life down on the line, laid down underneath the barco machine to prevent the barco from being moved. Thus assisting in the union achieving its goals. And I repeat, uh -huh. Mr. unequivocally, I can say to the newcomers of this union that this union was built upon the backs of workers like Mr. Johnson and others. And I would like to say 
to the newcomers once again. So please remember, before you eat the me, me, me soup, it is about us as a union voice and not me and mine. Me, my, and mine. This is the unselfish life that Lyndon Al Johnson lived and it was for your benefit. In the words of John F. Kennedy, ask not what can my union do for me, but what I can do for my union. At this time, I would like to leave the bereaved family, including the Busu and the Water and Sewage family with our stalwart prayer. Stay blessed, and may God remember you like Noah, favor you like Moses, honor you like Mary, fight for you like the Israelites, prosper you like Isaac, promote you like Joseph, intervene for you like Esther, protect you like Daniel, use you like Paul, heal you like Naaman, answer you like Elijah, anoint you like David, and keep you safe like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. This is my prayer for you, and may the soul of Lyndon Alp Johnson and the souls of all the daily departed, through the mercies of God, rest in peace and rise in glory. Bon voyage.